Hey, my name's Alex. I am a qualified hospital pharmacist. So today I will go through the pharmacy side of things for a drug called alindronic acid. Alindronic acid is a bisphosphonate. Typically, you see it prescribed as a 70 mg weekly dose. So remember, it's a weekly dose taken on the same day each week. So it's mainly used for people with osteoporosis, which is basically the weakening of the bone. Here's a picture of a healthy bone and a picture of the effects of osteoporosis that it can have. So as you can imagine, people with a bone density like this makes people more fragile and more likely to break a bone, so it's not good. Normally in your bones, you have various different bone cells, which includes something called osteoclasts, which is basically uh, a cell that breaks up bone tissue, also known as bone resorption. And you have something called osteoblasts, which is basically the opposite. Um, it's something that produces bone, um, a process known as ossification. So these cells work together to repair and maintain good bones, um, a process known as bone remodeling. As a person gets older, the osteoclast activity becomes greater than the osteoblast activity. Uh, so what that means is the rate of the bone loss is greater than bone gain, which is why some elderly people may get osteoporosis. So how does alindronic acid work? So it works pretty much by inhibiting the activity of osteoclasts. In doing so, you have less bone resorption and therefore more gain in bone mass. Alindronic acid also accumulates in the bone. It has a huge half-life of about 10 years, um, according to the SPC website, uh, which is partly why it's taken as a weekly dose. Alindronic acid, like any other drug, can cause a number of key side effects. You have GI side effects, such as esophagitis and GI discomfort, but the risk of these side effects can be reduced if taken properly. You may also see osteonecrosis of the jaw, which is a MHRA alert. Um, it is a rare side effect, but we have to make sure patients have regular dental checkups because of this reason. Another MHRA alert is a typical femoral fracture, which is also a rare side effect. Um, so the advice for this is to tell patients to report any signs of thigh, hip or groin pain. You might also want to check if patients have any ear problems because alindronic acid may also cause osteonecrosis of the external auditory canal, but it's very rare. And bear in mind, this list isn't exhaustive. Now moving on to the contraindications and cautions. Um, so with alindronic acid, we have to avoid in people with renal impairment. So the BNF recommends to avoid if the patient has a EGFR of less than 35. Then you have hypocalcemia. You need to check calcium and vitamin D levels before a patient starts taking alindronic acid. Patients already having esophageal problems. Remember, one of the key side effects of alindronic acid is esophagitis, so we don't want to worsen any existing problems. Patients with problems associated with emptying in the GI tract, for example, patients with strictures, it might not be a good idea to start alindronic acid on somebody with dental disease because alindronic acid can cause osteonecrosis of the jaw. And also, the chances of osteonecrosis happening increases in patients who smokes as well. So alindronic acid is poorly absorbed orally, but we can increase this absorption if we tell patients to take it the right way. Alindronic acid should be swallowed whole with 100 ml of water do not chew and take it 30 minutes before breakfast or medicine. So the special thing about alindronic acid is that you have to tell patients to remain upright or stand up for at least 30 minutes after administration. And the reason why we do that is so that we can minimize the irritation to the esophagus as much as possible. And the other thing is, is to tell patients to just drink it with water, not with, not with milk or with any antacids because alindronic acid binds to calcium, which basically reduces the absorption of it. And that is it for this video. Let me know if I've missed anything out. Um, also, let me know in the comments below what other medications you want me to cover. Um, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.